We back at it again, folks. Check it out. We making enchiladas. This one I think you're gonna like. And listen, I'm not finna over talk none of that. We finna get right into this. You seen that thumbnail, you read that title. Today we're making Salisbury steak. Let's get it. Now you see the ingredients, it's not a whole lot, but like always, the full ingredient list will be down in the description box below. All right, now we're gonna start with our ground beef, right? That's about a pound. We're gonna go ahead and add some breadcrumbs to that. We're gonna use our egg. This is gonna be our binder, folks, all right? This is what puts everything together. All right, now we're gonna add some W sauce. Now we're gonna add the mustard. Now you need the right tool for the job, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this, and we wanna get everything. Now we're gonna move on to some ketchup. Now just a pro tip, folks, you know I always got my soapy water over here. All right, now I got some gloves on, so I'm gonna go on in here with my hands and I'm gonna mix this in. All right, now if you come on in here and take a look, this is exactly how it's supposed to look. All right, now we're gonna make our patties, right? So we're gonna go ahead and take a bit. And you know, most people, when you hear about Salisbury steaks, it's not really like some form of a patty, like a burger. They want you to do like an oval shape, but it's the same thing, folks. All right, folks, now you see them there. That's how they're supposed to look. And then with this, you know, I always got my soapy water right here. So you clean as you go. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put some fire under this skillet. And I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or two of infused olive oil, folks. All right, folks. Now for the good part. We're gonna go ahead and take these over here, and lay them down just like that. And I'm gonna put these down for about two minutes on this side only. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and give these a flip. Look at that. Now I know what y'all saying, where is the cheese? All right, folks, now we're gonna go ahead and take these off. And we're just gonna put them to the side. Ooh -wee. Look at that, folks. All right, folks, come on in and look at this. Ooh wee, that's fire, folks. All right, folks, I turned off my fire and now I'm gonna go ahead and cut my onions real quick. All right, now listen, you wanna take this top part off, right? and we're gonna go ahead and slice them. All right, now I cut off the top, right? And we're gonna go ahead and just take it like this and just slice. Now listen, you can do this any type of way. You can do this chopped, you can do this diced, but I like it how it looks sliced. Now that I got my pan up to heat, we're gonna go ahead and drop in these onions. Then we're gonna add in our sliced mushrooms, you guys. And give that a quick mix. And we're gonna let this saute for about mm, five minutes. All right, folks, and if you come in here and look at this, you can tell just by looking at it that the onions are all cooked up, mixed in with the mushrooms. And remember all that thing that was stuck at the bottom from the patties? gone. It's all picked up by the vegetables. That's flavor, folks. Now we're not done yet. We're gonna go ahead and do our garlic. And you know I like my press. We're gonna go ahead and load it up with just two. And there's a the part that puts a smile on my face, folks. All right, folks, if you smell it, the aromatics coming off from the garlic with the infused olive oil, with the onions and the mushrooms, mm, fire, folks. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and add some pepper to all this. And we're gonna go ahead and add about two pinches of salt. All right, now that that's all cooked down, I'm gonna go ahead and add our broth to this. About a cup of beef broth. We're gonna go ahead and add some onion powder and some garlic powder, folks. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and let this simmer on low heat. Right, and we're gonna go ahead and move on to what's gonna make our gravy, folks. Now, you can do it any type of way. You can do it like a roux, you can get some flour, but we're on a time schedule here, so we're gonna go ahead and do some cornstarch. So about a tablespoon and a half in equal parts of water, and we'll be right back, folks. 
All right, now if you take a look at this, I just mix it up. It looks like some milk, right? But this is the key component and it's gonna, what's gonna make our gravy, folks. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mix this while I go ahead and add it. And you're gonna see it right before your eyes, the way that it gets all thick. All right, now if you look at that, I can feel it against this wooden spoon. Now listen, all we did was add that cornstarch slurry, which was equal parts cornstarch and water. And now look at that, folks. All right, now you can go ahead and see this. If it gets too thick, you can go ahead and add some beef broth, but we're gonna go ahead and transfer these back in here. I'm gonna add a little bit of beef broth to mine and let them cook for about 15 minutes. Look at that. Ooh, we folks, look at how that looks. How about that gravy, that mushroom, those onions, all that tied together. And not to mention there's a budget friendly meal. You know, you can do this any day. You can do this real quick. You saw how quick it took for me to do it. All right, now let's get to plating. Just look at the onion, look at that mushroom. You know, you gotta have some more of that gravy folks. So here we go. I'll put some more on there. You know how I do it. Ooh, wee, folks. Look at that gravy. Now listen, like I just said, this could be very inexpensive. You guys can do this when you're getting home. It has that mushroom. It has that onions. You know, everybody loves gravy and ground beef. Mm, don't get me started. All right, now when you put this out for your family, you can go ahead and see presentation matters, you guys. When you put that out and you put this on top, put some gravy, put some of that gravy on the side, mm -mm. it's all good. Now let's go ahead, I'm not gonna over talk it, let's go ahead and taste this. Ooh wee, you guys can't see it right now, but my mouth is already watering, folks. Let me go ahead and get some of that mushroom. You know I can't have this without some potatoes, folks. Cheers, folks. Whew, that's fire, folks. You can go ahead and see, I don't gotta say anything. Now there's people behind the camera waiting to come and get some of this, so let me go ahead and take this time to say, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And y'all know how I leave my videos. I'ma take this, and I'm out, folks. Peace.